At 81, Barbara Streisand's son finally confirms what we thought all along. Barbara Streisand, the iconic singer, actress, and filmmaker, has captivated audiences for over six decades with her unparalleled talent and charisma. At 81 years old, she remains a cultural icon whose influence extends beyond the entertainment industry. Recently, her son, Jason Gould, has confirmed something many have long suspected about his legendary mother. Barbara Streisand was born Barbara Joan Barbara Streisand on April 24, 1942, in Brooklyn, New York. Barbara Joan Streisand was the daughter of Diana Rosen, a school secretary, and Emanuel Streisand, a high school teacher. Her father died when she was just 15 months old, leaving her mother to raise Barbara and her older brother, Sheldon, in relative financial hardship. This early loss profoundly impacted Streisand, shaping her drive to succeed in her deep emotional well from which she would later draw in her performances. Growing up in a working-class neighborhood, Streisand's early years were marked by a sense of not fitting in. Her mother, though supportive of her daughter's ambitions, often warned her of the difficulties of a career in show business, perhaps stemming from her unrealized dreams of becoming a singer. Despite these warnings, Streisand was determined to pursue her passion for the arts. She attended Erasmus Hall High School, where she was an excellent student academically but felt socially isolated. However, it was here that she began to seriously consider a career in the performing arts, performing in school plays and discovering her love for singing. Streisand's vocal talent was evident from a young age. She began taking singing lessons when she was 13, and by her teenage years, she was already gaining a reputation for her distinctive voice. Unlike the more polished, traditional voices of the time, Streisand's voice was unique, nasal, powerful, and capable of conveying deep emotion. This uniqueness initially made it difficult for her to find acceptance in traditional avenues, but it also set her apart and hinted at the extraordinary career that lay ahead. After graduating from high school in 1959, Streisand moved out of her mother's house and began to pursue her dreams in earnest. She moved to Manhattan and supported herself with various odd jobs while taking acting lessons and trying to break into the theater scene. During this time, she decided to drop the second A in her first name, becoming Barbara Streisand, a small but significant change that reflected her desire to stand out and be unique. Her big break came somewhat serendipitously. Streisand entered a talent contest at a small nightclub called The Lion in Greenwich Village, where she won and began performing regularly. Her performances quickly garnered attention, and she developed a devoted following. Streisand's nightclub acts were marked by her eclectic choice of songs, her theatrical flair, and her ability to connect deeply with her audience. These early performances were crucial in honing her stage presence and vocal style, laying the groundwork for her future success. Barbara Streisand's career is a testament to her incredible talent, versatility, and enduring appeal. Spanning over six decades, her achievements in music, film, and theater have made her a true icon in the entertainment industry. Streisand first rose to fame in the early 1960s with her distinctive voice and dynamic stage presence. She became a household name with the release of her debut album, The Barbara Streisand Album, in 1963, which earned her two Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. Her early success in music was further solidified with hits like People and The Way We Were, which showcased her powerful vocals and emotional depth. In addition to her musical achievements, Streisand made a significant impact in film. Her film debut in Funny Girl, 1968, where she portrayed the legendary Fanny Bryce, earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. This role not only highlighted her acting prowess but also her ability to captivate audiences with her musical performances. Streisand's success continued with films such as Hello, Dolly, 1969, The Owl and the Pussycat, 1970, and What's Up, Doc, 1972, which showcased her versatility as an actress. One of Streisand's most notable achievements in film came with her role in A Star is Born, 1976. The film was a major success, and its soundtrack, featuring the hit song Evergreen, won an Academy Award for Best Original Song. Streisand's ability to seamlessly blend her musical and acting talents in this film cemented her status as a multifaceted entertainer.
Streisand's influence extends beyond her performances. As a director, she broke new ground with her directorial debut in Yentl, 1983, in which she also starred. The film was groundbreaking for its time, as it tackled themes of gender identity and cultural expectations. Streisand's work on Yentl earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Director, making her the first woman to receive this honor. In addition to her musical and cinematic accomplishments, Streisand has made significant contributions to the theater. Her performances in Broadway productions such as I Can Get It For You Wholesale and Funny Girl showcased her exceptional talent and helped establish her as a formidable presence in the theater world. Streisand's work on Broadway has left an indelible mark on the world of musical theater, inspiring countless performers who have followed in her footsteps. Streisand's influence extends to the world of television as well. Her television specials such as My Name is Barbara, 1965, and Color Me Barbara, 1966, were groundbreaking in their production quality and creativity. These specials not only showcased her singing talent but also her ability to connect with audiences through the small screen. Streisand's work in television has been recognized with multiple Emmy Awards, further highlighting her versatility as an entertainer. Over the years, as one of the most prominent figures in the entertainment industry, Streisand has been the subject of numerous rumors and speculation, spanning her personal life, career choices, and even her physical appearance. These rumors, often fueled by the tabloids and the media's relentless pursuit of sensational stories, have ranged from the absurd to the poignant, providing a window into the challenges of living life in the public eye. One of the most persistent rumors about Barbara Streisand has been about her romantic life. Throughout her career, Streisand has been linked to several high-profile relationships, including her marriages to actor Elliot Gould and actor James Brolin. Her relationship with Gould, whom she married in 1963, was often scrutinized, especially after their divorce in 1971. The media speculated endlessly about the reasons for their split, attributing it to everything from Streisand's burgeoning career to alleged infidelities. Despite the rumors, both Streisand and Gould have maintained a respectful silence about the details of their marriage and separation, focusing instead on co-parenting their son, Jason. Streisand's second marriage to James Brolin, which began in 1998, has also been a subject of public fascination. The couple's enduring relationship, marked by mutual respect and admiration, has defied the typical Hollywood narrative of fleeting romances. Despite occasional rumors of discord, Streisand and Brolin have consistently presented a united front, often sharing their affection for each other in interviews and public appearances. Their relationship serves as a testament to the possibility of lasting love in an industry notorious for its turbulent relationships. Another area rife with rumors has been Streisand's career choices. Known for her perfectionism and artistic integrity, Streisand has often been the target of speculation regarding her professional decisions. Her decision to take a hiatus from acting in the 1980s led to rumors that she was retiring from the industry. However, Streisand later revealed that she had taken time off to focus on her directorial debut with the film Yentl. This move was a significant milestone in her career, showcasing her versatility and determination to push boundaries in the male-dominated film industry. Streisand's meticulous approach to her work has also sparked rumors about her being difficult to work with. Stories of her demanding nature on set have circulated for years, painting her as a diva who insists on having everything done her way. While some of these stories may contain elements of truth, they also overlook the fact that Streisand's high standards have consistently resulted in critically acclaimed and commercially successful projects. Her insistence on excellence is a reflection of her commitment to her craft rather than a manifestation of unreasonable behavior. Barbara Streisand's son talks about physical appearance has been another focal point of rumors surrounding Streisand. From the beginning of her career, Streisand's distinctive looks, particularly her nose, have been the subject of much discussion. In an industry that often prizes conventional beauty, Streisand's refusal to alter her appearance has been both celebrated and criticized. Rumors about her undergoing plastic surgery have surfaced repeatedly, yet Streisand has consistently denied these claims, emphasizing her belief in natural beauty and authenticity. Her stance has made her a role model for many, 
proving that talent and confidence can outshine superficial standards. Barbara Streisand's son talks about one particularly bizarre rumor that has persisted over the years is the claim that Streisand has a complex about her nose to the extent that she insists on specific camera angles and lighting to downplay it. While it's true that Streisand, like any performer, is conscious of how she is portrayed on screen, these rumors exaggerate the extent of her concerns. Streisand's nose has become iconic in its own right, symbolizing her defiance of conventional beauty standards and her embrace of her unique identity. Since the beginning, the media fixated oddly on her appearance, dubbing her an amiable anteater with an unbelievable nose, likening her to a myopic gazelle. Yet, as she ascended to superstardom, the narrative shifted. Suddenly, Streisand was hailed as a Babylonian queen, lauded for her monumental achievements 250 million records sold, 10 Golden Globe Awards, 5 Emmys, and 2 Oscars for acting and songwriting. However, the scars of past criticism linger. Even after all these years, I am still hurt by the insults and can't quite believe the praise, writes the star in her new autobiography, My Name is Barbara. One memory that still hurts Barbara Streisand is her aversion to stage work due to her experience in Funny Girl on Broadway. In her revealing memoir, she discloses the strain with her co-star Sidney Chaplin, detailing his on-stage cruelty, which triggered panic attacks and stage fright. Married during the 1964 premiere, Streisand encountered marital boundaries with Chaplin's flirtations. Rejecting his advances wounded his ego, leading to verbal abuse during performances, inflicting emotional turmoil and crippling anxiety. Confrontation proved futile as Chaplin persisted, exacerbating Streisand's distress. Despite her resilience that prevailed against the nightmare, the ordeal etched scars that lingered, altering her relationship with the stage forever and saddening her to date. Beyond these more salacious rumors, there have also been whispers about Streisand's philanthropic efforts and personal beliefs. Some have questioned the sincerity of her activism, suggesting that her involvement in various causes is more about maintaining a positive public image than genuine concern. However, those close to Streisand and those who have benefited from her philanthropy paint a different picture. Her establishment of the Streisand Foundation and her significant contributions to environmental, women's rights, and LGBTQ causes demonstrate a deep and abiding commitment to making a difference in the world. And that's a wrap for today's episode on stories about your most adored screen favorites. Thanks for watching. To enjoy more thrilling stories that uncover the reality of your favorites, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen.